for folks who don't know your resume, your, your sort of most famous resume point is that you wrote down the tear down this wall speech. That's right. Uh, at, the, at the Berlin Wall for President Reagan. So how exactly did you come up with that phraseology? How did that speech come about? Oh, well, there's a, there's, there's a story there. Um, 1987, spring of 1987, uh, Berlin is celebrating some 800th anniversary. Gorbachev is going to visit, the Queen of England is going to visit, and the West German government, remember, it was West Germany and East Germany in those days, the West German government asked President Reagan to make a visit. I got assigned the speech and flew to Berlin before, oh, this would be six weeks or so before the president was to speak there, to do some research. I went to the wall, I went to the place where the president was going to be delivering the speech. It's all gone now, but the wall was there, the Reichstag, which was still pocked with shell uh, case, shell marks from the bombing this, at the final battle of Berlin. And behind it, me was West Berlin, modern city, color, life, movement, recent model cars. And then you look over the wall and there was almost no motion. Guards marching back and forth. It was as though the color had been leached out of it. Everything was gray, brown. The buildings even looked dilapidated. So there was, it, this was a place where you could feel the weight of, of history, communism there, capitalism here. This was the place where the Soviet advance stopped at the end of the Second World War. This was the place where the Americans and the, uh, the British had, had taken over. So at that moment, I was a young speechwriter in trouble because what could I write that would equal what you felt there, the felt weight of history? Several other stops in Berlin, including one to the ranking American diplomat who was full of ideas about what Ronald Reagan should not say. West Berlin is surrounded by East Germany. The people who live here are very sensitive to the nuance and subtlety involved necessary for East-West relations. Don't have Ronald Reagan sound like an anti-communist cowboy. And by the way, don't have him make a big deal about the wall. They've all gotten used to it. And that evening, I went to a dinner party uh, West Berliners whom I had not met, but we had mutual friends back in Washington. And so they put together a, a, a sort of a buffet for me, uh, 15 or so people, different walks of life, a professor, a couple of students, and my host and hostess were lovely retired people. He had worked at the World Bank in Washington and retired back to West Berlin. And I asked the question, I said, I've been told by the American diplomat that you've all gotten used to the wall by now. And there was a silence. And I thought, I've made just the gaffe that the diplomat doesn't want Ronald Reagan to make. But then one man raised his arm and pointed and said, my sister lives just a few kilometers in that direction, but I haven't seen her in more than 20 years. How do you think we feel about that wall? And they went around the room. They'd stopped talking about it. They had not stopped caring about it. They had not stopped hating it. And each person told, I remember one man talked about walking to work each morning. And each morning he would walk under a guard tower where there was an East German soldier with a rifle over his shoulder who would peer down at him with binoculars. And the man said, we share the same history, we speak the same language, but one of us is a zookeeper and the other is an animal and I have never been able to decide which was which. And then our hostess, a lovely woman called Ingeborg Elz who just died a couple of years ago, she must have been younger then than I am now. She was in her, perhaps in her early 50s. She, she was a very gracious woman. She'd been charming throughout the dinner party, but now she became angry. And she said, if this man Gorbachev, she, she smacked her, made a ball of one fist and smacked it into the palm of her, of her other hand. If this man Gorbachev is serious with this glasnost, this perestroika, he can prove it by coming here and getting rid of that wall. And that went into my notebook because the moment she said that, I knew that if Ronald Reagan had been there in my place, he would have responded to that remark, the simplicity, the dignity, and the power of that remark. So the answer, that's a long way around to get to the answer to your question, but the, if the question is, where did that phrase come from? The answer is, it started with a German woman who lived behind the wall herself. Thank you for tuning into The Daily Wire, one of the fastest growing conservative media outlets in the country. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of our content.